Hey guys, it's your favorite reliability and test guy here with another fun-filled, action-packed video on reliability tests and validation topics. Today's video is an overview of MIL standard A10H method 514.8 vibration testing. But before we get started, I have some exciting news. Are you ready to take your expertise in vibration and shock testing to the next level? Whether you're a design engineer, a test engineer, a test technician, a reliability professional, or a manager, Mastering these critical skills is essential for product durability and performance. And that is exactly why I wrote my book, Mastering Vibration and Shock Testing. This is the ultimate comprehensive guide for understanding, applying, and mastering vibration and shock for the real world. In today's industries, whether automotive, aerospace, defense, or electronics, products are subjected to extreme environments. Without rigorous testing, Failures can lead to costly recalls, safety risks, and loss of credibility. Yet many professionals struggle with understanding the complexities of vibration and shock testing, often relying on trial and error instead of proven methodologies. That's where Mastering Vibration and Shock Testing comes in. This book is designed to break down complex theories into practical applications, guiding you step by step through the fundamentals, test procedures, equipment selection, data analysis, and industry standards. This book provides comprehensive coverage. Learn everything from basic concepts to advanced techniques, including fixture design, modal analysis, and data interpretation. It is industry relevant and aligns with the major testing standards, such as MIL standards, ISTA, ASTM, and ISO. It provides hands-on insights. It includes practical examples, troubleshooting tips, and real-world scenarios to help you apply the concepts immediately. With over 20 years of experience in engineering, reliability, test, and validation, I bring first-hand experience on leading test labs and industry projects. Do you want to enhance your career? Do you want to expand your knowledge and technical expertise? Do you want to become a leader in vibration and shock testing? Then this book is for you. Don't leave testing the guesswork. Arm yourself with the right tools and techniques and knowledge today. Order your copy of Master in Vibration and Shock Testing from Barnes & Noble in the link below. And start your journey on Master in Vibration and Shock Testing with confidence. Master in Vibration and Shock Testing is a textbook with comprehensive review exercises at the end of each chapter and a comprehensive final exam at the end of the book. That's why I also created the Master in Vibration and Shock Testing Answer Key Guide, which includes all of the exercise answers from the book along with the comprehensive final exam. I also include four additional final exams to practice in this book. You can also get this in the link below. All right, let's go ahead and get started on Method 514.8 Vibrations Testing, starting with the purpose and scope. The primary goal of MIL standard A10H method 514.8 is to verify that equipment can withstand the vibratory stresses it encounters during transport, storage, and actual operation. This applies to gear used in ground vehicles, aircraft, naval systems, and other hardware exposed to constant or repeated vibrations, like engines, road travel, flights, or gunfire. Let's go ahead and jump into Taylor and Tess. What makes Method 514.8 so unique is its emphasis on tailoring tests to your specific systems, application, and platform. Such as helicopters versus trucks. You also factor in user requirements, mission duration, and known vibration sources to decide the test duration, intensity, and frequency ranges. Instead of using generic vibration test profiles or cookie cutter tests from test standards, MIL standard A10H method 514.8 encourages development of your vibration test profile based off of field collected data, allowing you to tailor your vibration test profile to your specific system and application. Let's go ahead and take a look now at test categories and procedures. General or random vibration uses a broad spectrum random profile over a range of frequencies, focusing on representative conditions. Swept sign or sinusoidal, a sine wave that sweeps through frequencies to pinpoint resonances. Transportation vibration for truck, rail, ship, or cargo. These can be broadband random profiles reflecting in transit environments. Each category outlines procedures, recommended durations, and pass-fail criteria. 
You can also customize parameters to mirror real usage more accurately. Next up, let's look at the actual test setup and equipment used for vibration testing. Proper fixturing is crucial so that the test item receives the correct vibration energy without interference. Accelerometers measure the input and response and a closed loop control system adjusts the shaker table in real time to keep vibration levels on target. This ensures consistency and accuracy throughout the test. After you've completed your vibration test and execution, there's still plenty of work to do in the form of data analysis and reporting. During testing, real-time acceleration, frequency responses, and any anomalies are recorded. After the test, you'll inspect the unit for structural damage or performance degradation. Thorough logs and detailed reports document all parameters like fixture design, vibration profiles, and observed issues. This traceability is essential for correlating test results with actual field performance. Now let's go ahead and look at considerations and common challenges experienced during vibration testing. Resonance identification. Resonant frequencies can drastically increase stress and reduce equipment life which is why tests such as sine sweeps are critical for identifying the resonant frequencies for your system. Over and under testing. Be sure to tailor your test profiles carefully so it is neither unrealistically too severe nor too mild. Fatigue life. Extended vibration can cause gradual fatigue damage. Accelerated profiles help reveal these issues. Multiple configurations. Tests various modes of operation like stowed and deployed to ensure reliability in all kinds of different operational and storage states. Now let's take a look at the relationship between mill standard A10H 514.8 and other methods within the standard. Method 514.8 vibration testing often goes hand in hand with other methods. For example, shock testing in method 516 deals with sudden high intensity events, while temperature in 501 and 502 and humidity in 507 are methods that may be combined with vibration to simulate real-world conditions like hot, humid environments where equipment experiences continuous shaking. While method 514.8 encourages tailoring your vibration test profile, it does provide profiles for different types of systems and scenarios. When no specific field data is available, oftentimes the generalized vibration profile called the minimum integrity test is used. It evaluates the structural integrity and durability of a test item subjected to general vibration conditions encountered during its life cycle. It provides a baseline vibration qualification for equipment that lacks detailed environmental vibration data. There are various vibration profiles that cover transport including wheeled vehicle, tracked vehicle, rail freight, and shipboard. There's aircraft, which includes jet aircraft, rotorcraft, and turboprop environments. There's gunfire, which includes short, intense, and high-frequency bursts. And loose cargo, simulating bounce and shift during transit. And there's also combined profiles for items transitioning across multiple platforms. All of these profiles have a different intent and usage with different stresses and force and frequency scenarios to drive finding failure modes during the entire mission profile or life cycle of your product through transport and mission use. Mill standard A10H method 514.8 helps ensure and verify that your equipment can survive real-world scenarios and applications, whether it be on the land, the sea, or in the air. By tailoring your vibration test profile to actual usage conditions, using the proper equipment and instrumentation, and performing rigorous data analysis, you can help identify weaknesses and design issues in your system early. This helps ensure reliable operation of your system out in the field, whether it be during transportation or in combat situations. And that's all folks for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.